Oh, hello, I didn't see you standing there. Welcome to VH1's Behind the Music. I'm Brett Michaels. You might know me from shows that I've appeared in, such as Rock of Love, Rock of Love 2, and Rock of Love Bus. But let's be honest, what you probably know me for is being the front man from 80's rock and roll sensation, Poison. But let's get down to business, because tonight we're going to talk about popular music. And we're going to go behind the scenes to see how popular music can tell us about our culture and about our society. So without further ado, let's rock on. So what is popular music anyway? According to Encarta Online Dictionary, pop music is modern commercial music usually tuneful, up-tempo and repetitive, that is aimed at the general public and youth market in particular. According to Michael Zakely, popular music literally represents the choice of the people. Zakely describes popular music as a type of cultural currency, a commodity that the, past, the masses consume and pass amongst themselves. Now you're probably thinking, what in the world does all that academic mumbo-jumbo mean? Well, for you book reading types, you may want to check out Kenneth Benda's America's Musical Pulse, Popular Music in 20th Century Society. According to this book, popular music communicates a lot of com information about our culture. Benda says that pop music helps to enforce conformity to social norms. In other words, pop music communicates a society's expectations for its citizens. That's why we look to pop stars like Beyonce and Justin Timberlake to find out the latest fashion trends, pick up on the latest sling vocabulary, and understand what's cool and what's not so cool. Well, thanks for joining us tonight for VH1's Behind the Music. I hope you learned a little bit of something about what popular music is and how it can serve as a form of communication about our culture here in the United States of America. I'm Brett Michaels, and I'm going to leave you with a special treat, especially for the ladies. A one, two, three, four! Every rose has its thorn.